Would it shock you to learn that approximately 6.1 million children in the United States were diagnosed with ADHD as of 2016? That's a staggering 9.4% of all US children. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, better known as ADHD, is a medical condition that affects a child's ability to focus, stay organized and complete tasks. It's like a whirlwind of activity in the brain, making it difficult to stay on track. It's not about intelligence or capability. These kids are just as smart and capable as their peers, but their brains simply operate differently and that can make everyday tasks feel like climbing a mountain. There's a common misconception that ADHD is a result of bad parenting or too much screen time. But that's simply not true. It's a real medical condition that's recognised by reputable health organisations all over the world. And it's not just a childhood disorder either. Many adults continue to struggle with ADHD, often without even realising they have it. Now, let's talk numbers. The prevalence of ADHD is on the rise. The number of diagnosed cases has jumped by more than 40% in the last decade. That's a lot of children and adults struggling to keep up in a world that doesn't always understand their challenges. And it's not just about schoolwork or jobs. ADHD can impact every aspect of a person's life, from friendships and relationships to self-esteem and mental health. It's a pervasive disorder that doesn't take a day off. But here's the good news. ADHD is treatable. With the right support, individuals with ADHD can lead successful, fulfilling lives. They can excel in school, thrive in their careers, and build meaningful relationships. They're not doomed to a life of struggle, they just need a helping hand. With these alarming statistics, it becomes crucial to understand the medications available to manage ADHD. Let's delve into the world of ADHD medications, starting with Ritalin, a brand name for methylphenidate. Now, Ritalin has been on the market for a long time, and there's a good reason why it has remained popular throughout the years. Its quick onset of action and short half-life make it a go-to choice for many. Imagine being able to control the ebb and flow of your focus throughout the day, like turning a faucet on and off. That's the kind of control Ritalin offers, making it easier for users to manage their symptoms effectively. But while Ritalin can be a great help, it's important to remember that it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. Everyone is unique, and what works for one person might not work for another. Now, Let's talk about cost. Brand name Ritalin can be, well, a bit pricey, but don't let that discourage you. There's a more affordable generic version available that does the same job. It's called methylphenidate, the same active ingredient found in brand name Ritalin. So if cost is a concern, don't hesitate to discuss the generic option with your healthcare provider. But like all medications, Ritalin isn't without potential side effects. Some people may experience mild side effects like loss of appetite or trouble sleeping. Others might encounter more serious side effects, such as increased heart rate or blood pressure. It's crucial to remember that not everyone will experience side effects, and if they do occur, they're usually temporary. And finally, remember, Ritalin is a prescription medication. It should be used under the supervision of a healthcare provider who can monitor for side effects and adjust the dosage as needed. Ritalin has been a game changer for many, but it's not the only option out there. So stay tuned as we explore other ADHD medications in our next segment. Next up, we have Adderall, a household name in the ADHD medication arena. Adderall is a stimulant medication that's been around for a while, and it's gained quite a reputation. This drug, often prescribed to both children and adults with ADHD, works by increasing the levels of certain chemicals in the brain that help with focus, attention and impulse control. The popularity of Adderall lies in its effectiveness. Many patients report that it helps them stay focused throughout the day, improve their productivity and even manage their hyperactivity symptoms. But it's not just its effectiveness that has made it popular. Adderall also has a relatively quick onset of action, which means it starts working faster than many other ADHD medications. Now let's talk about the cost. Brand name Adderall can be quite expensive with prices often exceeding several hundred dollars for a month's supply. But there's good news for those who are budget conscious. A generic version of Adderall has been available for many years, offering the same benefits at a significantly reduced price. Of course, we can't talk about Adderall without discussing its potential side effects. While many people tolerate Adderall well, it can cause some unpleasant side effects. 
These may include a loss of appetite, insomnia, and even mood swings. In rare cases, it can also lead to more serious issues like high blood pressure and heart problems. It's also worth mentioning that Adderall has a potential for misuse because it can increase focus and energy. It's sometimes used by people without ADHD to improve their academic or work performance. This misuse can lead to serious health risks and is strongly discouraged. In conclusion, Adderall is a popular choice for managing ADHD symptoms due to its effectiveness and quick action. However, it can come with a hefty price tag and potential side effects. As always, it's important to discuss these factors with a healthcare professional to make an informed decision. Adderall is a popular choice, but remember, everyone's body reacts differently to medications. Now let's talk about Vyvanse, a more recent addition to the ADHD medication list. Vyvanse, also known as Lisdexamphetamine, has a unique characteristic that sets it apart from other medications. It's a prodrug, which means it becomes active only after it's metabolically processed in the body, specifically in the liver. This feature helps to lower the potential for misuse, as it can't be snorted or injected to induce a high, making it a safer option in some cases. However, being a newer medication, Vyvanse is a bit on the pricier side. Depending on the dosage and location, a month's supply can cost anywhere from $200 to $300 without insurance. And at the moment, there isn't a generic version available, which could potentially lower the cost. As with any medication, Vivance does come with a list of potential side effects. These include common ones like dry mouth, loss of appetite, trouble sleeping and anxiety. Less common but more severe side effects could include chest pain, shortness of breath and uncontrolled vocal outbursts or tics. It's also worth noting that Vyvanse can interact with other medications, so it's always essential to discuss your full medical history and any other medications you're taking with your healthcare provider. Vyvanse is also a long-acting drug, lasting up to 14 hours. This is beneficial for those needing extended focus throughout the day, but it's also something to consider when it comes to sleep patterns. It's important to remember that medication effectiveness can vary greatly from person to person. What works wonderfully for one individual might not for another. Always consult a healthcare provider when considering any new medication. Vivance is gaining ground in the ADHD world. But like all medications, it's not a one-size-fits-all. ADHD medications can make a world of difference, but they're not magic pills. This statement underscores the importance of understanding the role and effects of these medications. We've taken a journey through Ritalin, Adderall and Vivance each with its unique characteristics, costs and potential side effects. Recapping, we learned that Ritalin, a popular choice for many, is available in generic form, making it an affordable option. However, it's essential to be aware of potential side effects such as insomnia and decreased appetite. Adderall, another common medication, is also available in a generic version, offering cost savings. However, it too carries potential side effects like increased heart rate and anxiety. Lastly, we discussed Vivance, a once daily medication. Unlike the first two, there's no generic version of Vivance, making it a pricier choice. It has its own set of potential side effects, including sleep disturbances and weight loss. Each of these medications can play a significant role in managing ADHD symptoms. However, they're not one size fits all solutions. What works for one person may not work for another. That's why it's crucial to have open, honest conversations with healthcare professionals about these medications. They can provide insights into potential benefits and risks, helping to make informed decisions. Remember, these medications are tools. They can help manage symptoms, but they don't define the person who takes them. ADHD is complex, with many facets to consider beyond medication. This includes lifestyle modifications, cognitive behavioral therapies, and support from loved ones. We're here to help you navigate this journey, offering information and insights to empower you. We're continuously producing new videos, covering a range of topics related to ADHD. From understanding the condition to exploring different treatment options, we're committed to providing you with the knowledge you need to make informed decisions. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. Subscribe and follow for more informative videos about ADHD. Together, we can learn, grow and navigate the complexities of ADHD.